BP Pulse is one of the CPOs that are active currently, and BP Corporate recently announced that they're scaling back their investment in EV charging, but it's still a pretty significant amount of funds that are being invested into EV charging. So although it's not at the same level, it's still pretty high. And BP Pulse just recently announced that they've completed installation into their fourth Travel Centers of America Alpitronic um, hardware stations. So they're definitely still growing. And this recently came to my attention about a fleet implementation. So this is a private organization that reached out to BP Pulse because they have an electric trucking fleet and they needed chargers on their property in order to refuel these trucks in order to make deliveries. Now that owner could have just gone to a hardware vendor, purchased their own EV charging hardware and been the operator of it. But BP Pulse offers a turnkey service to commercial customers to be able to put charging on their property and then operate those chargers for them in order to keep them maintained, ensure that the um, hardware, if it breaks, is quickly fixed, and ensure if there's any generational upgrades that need to happen, they take care of everything. You know, the um, process of initiating a charge, so there's some back-end processes that have, have to happen for that. And then there's actually the uh, power electronics and the chargers themselves that need to be implemented. The site design, all these things are done by BP Pulse as a turnkey service. And so recently this came to my attention, a company called Wilbach Distributors, or Will Bosch? distributors, one of the two. And um, I knew nothing about them, but apparently they've got a fleet of Volvo trucks. And I was guessing this was in Europe, but it turns out, no, this is in the heartland. Uh, let me pull up a map of where this is. and We'll get back to the specifics. So in between Pittsburgh and Philadelphia and Allenta Allentown, just to the east of Carlisle, uh, Pennsylvania, is Wilbash Distributors. And they're one of the people in, who reached out to BP Pulse in order to um, put in charging for their electric trucks, which apparently started back in 2019 with solar arrays and purchasing Volvo electric trucks, which uh, they've found to be a uh, path to success for them. And so now they need a BP Pulse. And as you see, even though they're um, sold to the company or operated, there's still BP Pulse hardware, and these are Alpitronic hyperchargers. And so this picture really struck my interest. And I was trying to figure out, okay, are these open to the public or are these just private? So I was trying to figure out where it was. And there's some details on this picture. Let me zoom it in for you guys. Uh, where is the picture? This is the picture. Okay. So zoomed into that picture, you see the truck over here charging at the Alpitronic. But in the background, we see a building with a green roof and we see some transmission towers uh, for electricity right over here. And so that was something I thought I could key on. And when I looked up Wilbesh Distributors, I found this building is their headquarters. And if you line it up just right on Google Street View, there is the tower and there is the green building right there. And so if you line this up just right, I'm thinking that lot is either in this green area here and they built into it or somewhere back over here, maybe over here. But when you go over there, I don't think that lines up right for that image because unless you're up on the hill and you're over, well, maybe it is. Yeah, so maybe it's up there. So if we go back and go to a satellite view, it might be right in here. <laughs> but not open to the public. But you can see the solar on the roof that they're referring to in the uh, press release. And uh, the chargers are likely right over here. This is where those trucks are charging. And uh, here's the green roof building. But back to the press release. This is very interesting because, as I said, BP Pulse recently had bad news from corporate saying, hey, guys, your budget is going to be halved or something along those lines. 
And what I've been seeing recently is that BB Pulse has been making lemonade out of lemons. And what they're doing is they're pivoting to providing charging as a service to fleet operators. Because in that case, they're not expending capital in order to build greenfield charging stations from the ground up. What they're doing is they're just engaging in order to provide charging as a service to commercial fleet operators. And for them, that's much less capital they have to expend. It's actually a uh, cost center that they're able to add to their balance sheet and then use some of those additional funds in order to uh, build stations elsewhere or something. So it's a very resilient team that I'm finding at the North American uh, BP Pulse um, operations. So Sujay Sharma is the one who's leading up North American um, BP Pulse. And um, I've met the man he uh, came from APAC where he was doing uh, BP Pulse over in APAC, and now he's leading up North America out of the Chicago offices is where the uh, BP Pulse uh, charging team operates out of. I thought it would have been Houston, but apparently Houston is where the petroleum divisions are, and BP, uh, BP Pulse is classified as a one of the other services, so they operate out of the uh, Chicago offices. Regardless, very interesting that BP Pulse is finding a path to success through um, offering charging as a service to fleet operators. <clears throat> and also it's interesting that the whole concept of electrification of um, uh, heavy duty, um, I don't think these are long haul trucks, these are delivery trucks, but uh, tractor trailer uh, electrification is uh, apparently starting to get uh, more traction and uh, more activity in uh, commercial sectors. So all that is good news. And I, I really think what we're going to see is there's going to be some vacillation with the retail light duty market of electric vehicles. I think it is still going to go up. It's all tied to the cost of batteries. And I heard that Initially, the Nissan Leaf cost $1,000 per kilowatt hour when it was initially launched for their battery pack. Very expensive. And now we're down somewhere around $50 per kilowatt hour for battery pack um, storage. As that continues to drop, it becomes more and more economically um, compelling to move to an electric option, both in commercial and residential. So all that being said, commercial operators, they don't care about what's going on in politics or what the color of their, of their cars are or the stylistic. They care about money and how much total cost of ownership and things like that. And as these prices continue to dive, the uh, use case uh, or the, yeah, the use case and the case study for um, switching to electrification continues to increase and BP Pulse service offering to provide charging as a service uh, becomes more attractive. So kudos to BP Pulse. Uh, very exciting to see that commercial fleet operators are starting to turn to them. Thanks for watching.